All right, so after removing the silicone sealant uh, from this slide out opening trim, I can see that the whole slide out uh, wall on this side, on this back side, has pulled away from the camper. That's a good five eighths of an inch. This, this is a bulb seal. I think if I can pull that back without tearing it, I can get to some of these screws. I don't know if you can see up there, it's, it's gapped quite a bit. It's gapped everywhere, but some in some places the phylon is is up against the, the framing. Like even up here, I can push that away. I'm pretty sure this is not factory. So I think that if, if I pulled this piece of aluminum off, that I would find a pretty good sized crack. Well, I can actually see it right there. So it looks like the frame's broken up on this side too. So I'll do another piece of angle on this top side as well and then see if I can get some longer screws to suck all this framework back up against the frame. But this piece here is, is not factory. Somebody added that. All right, so inside of the truck camper, this is the back side of the inside of the slide out. <clears throat> See that right there? That's where that that's where that uh, crack is on the top side there. Well, I've definitely got a broken. I'm moving that a good inch and a quarter. All right, 2002 Lance 1161. I've got the infamous slide out sag. And uh, I've got this propane door taken off, uh, which was siliconed and screwed in there. And there's a foam seal also. So I'll replace all that when I go to put it back together. But you can see, and I've got this phylon pulled back, and of course, you know, a bunch of the bunch of the luon is all rotten. But my main concern is this main brace upright. Uh, it's all rotten through here. You can see it's uh, there's nothing left of it. That's the inside of the camper right there. So they just use a. Uh, like a one by three. Um, and of course you can see right here where the, the metal brace, there's a, a T brace uh, where that's broken. So that's why we've got some sag there. So this piece most likely has to be replaced, at least dug out and, and uh, filled in. But this for sure needs to be replaced, this uh, metal brace. So I have to get this piece of phylon that goes, I've already got the bottom trim off. This piece of phylon needs to come off so I can access the rest of this. Of course, they just staple. This is just a real thin, like, uh, I don't know, 18 gauge, real thin sheet metal. So I'll, I'll use something a little more stout. Uh, and longer. So when I replace this upright, uh, it'll it'll actually go up into the upright a little bit more. So that's what we've got so far. This back in here is rotten, but I can throw some epoxy on that. Some of that get rot epoxy when I re-glue the uh, phylon back down. So I got to get this brace, this metal broken metal brace off, um, dig out this rotten wood, see how far up it goes, and then stitch it together. Once I've got it stitched together, I can put the new brace in, 
get everything glued back together. So I think what I'll use to replace this piece of pine uh, is Baltic birch. I'll use some uh, 18 millimeter Baltic birch marine plywood and that should not only strengthen it up but uh, give it a little bit more uh, rot proof, waterproof. Uh, you can see that gap. I've got this thing up on a jack here but let's see if we can lower it and see how far down we go. So with this entire camper being wood framed, uh, there's no real bracing uh, to take this weight, especially at this tie down point and at the front jack point. So I'm gonna have to take uh, a piece of aluminum or steel, 90 degree angle here, go back and uh, bolt it and glue it in 90 degrees all the way up 90 degrees over on the top of the roof and glue it and screw it down. Uh, use die core adhesive all over the top. And then of course, uh, adhesive, uh, construction adhesive all along uh, this seam as well for the aluminum to hold that weight um, and the forces when it's being uh, tied down to the truck. And same thing on the front here. You can see that this corner is rotted and it's set an angle so um, and it's already starting to crease there on the phylon so again piece of aluminum 90 degree angle all the way up wrapped around the top of the roof bolted down adhesive um, construction adhesive uh, all the way behind the aluminum all the way down It'll have to go behind this jack. Uh, so I'll just drill holes through it and that way the mounts can still um, be bolted through uh, to the backing plate. But that way on this, we can go all the way around and back, you know, all the way back here even, and go underneath this piece of molding. And that way it holds up this floor because this floor is starting to sag. So that's got to hold that up. It's not rotten. It's solid. It's just starting to sag. It's busted away from the bulkhead. This this front section here, which is all of this, uh, it's just busted away from that. I've just been beating this uh, team molding back into shape. It was pretty badly peeled back on the top side. So just kind of clamping it and tapping it with the hammer a little bit until it uh, takes shape. And I got that aluminum T-molding straightened out the best I could. It's pretty darn straight. clamped on these little corner pieces. All right, so I've got the top trim pulled off. And of course, all this slide out molding unscrewed. I made a cut right here in the phylon. Of course, I had to pull the aluminum roof back. And uh, to expose this, slide out frame back in here that's all rotten so I'm gonna dig out all this rotten wood and replace it with some good wood put some steel and aluminum brackets in there tied into the roof um, up underneath the roof here and then uh, seal everything back up that way the, the top is tied back in with the shoulder that's why this whole area down here was sagging. So 
this whole area down here was sagging. Of course, if I take the pressure off this jack, <clears throat> see how far that dropped. Big gap right there. So that's all got to be replaced all the way up. Uh, of course, I built the bracket. Just kind of fabbed up a bracket that'll go. I'll take this jack bracket off and this will go up in there to hold this corner up. And I'll <clears throat> use some more of these uh, 90 degree Simpson ties and more of these um, galvanized pieces here up underneath. So since I pulled the uh, sliding tray out from the LP compartment here, I can get up underneath here and I can access the, the bolts to the back side of this tie down bracket. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is go under the tie down bracket with some angle and then up. And then I have a, a big T bracket, Simpson tie T molding or a T bracket that uh, will tie into the, the new piece that after I replace all this rotten stuff, it'll tie into that and uh, connect everything together with the with the roof to give it some structural integrity.